Welcome to the Get Your Mind Right podcast. Every day, I want to be the first voice inside of your head, the first voice that motivates you to move. I put out these powerful segments every single day because I know the truth. The truth is that when you change your mind, you change your life. So let me, Ryan Suman, the hardcore closer, get your mind right. Sometimes when the people on your team are down and out and they're not handling their business, you got to pick up the ball and run it yourself. In football, when the wide receivers, when the, when the fullbacks already pass through the line, the running backs already pass through the line, and the wide receivers are covered by the safeties and linebackers, the quarterback has no choice but to sneak the ball through, right? He's got to do the quarterback sneak. He's got to run it through himself. Sometimes when you're down in the red zone, and you're right there on the final yards. The opposing team's trying to do everything they can to stop you from getting in the end zone, and they've got every player on your team covered. Sometimes you just got to run it in yourself. And, you know, the quarterback is supposed to be the leader of the team. He's not supposed to be the leading scorer. He's supposed to be the leader of the team, but that's what we are. If we have a team that we run, whether we're a manager, whether we're a leader, whether we're a coach, a consultant, that's what we do is, is when we have a team, when we're a business owner, we have a team, we're the quarterback. And sometimes we got to decide to run the ball in and take the points ourselves. The reason why I share that with you is we had an epically horrible week this week in my team. My operations staff did great. They provided a bunch of leads. They did a bunch of back-end support. My sales team, for whatever reason, decided they were going to drop the ball. And that's really hard on my ego because that's what I'm, I do as part of my business is, is to train salespeople and lift salespeople in the marketplace up. And the salespeople on, on my team, they totally dropped the ball this week. And this will have happened way in the past by the time you're listening to this episode. But just know that it happens to the best of us. Well, I didn't say, you know, okay, well, let's just, we just had a down round or we're out in the game or whatever. I made an epic comeback and in one day made $130,000 all by myself because you know what? I had to run it into the end zone myself. I was watching a documentary a couple of weeks ago with Conor McGregor and Conor McGregor was fighting this guy and he was next in line to get the belt. And if Conor didn't beat this guy, then it was basically going to end his UFC career. And he fought all the way down to the last eight seconds of the third round before he knocked him out. You see, he didn't quit. He was totally getting beat up the whole time. He was totally getting devastated the whole time. There was no chance that he was going to win by decision. He had no choice but to knock a motherfucker out. And that's what I had to do this week. I had no choice but to knock a motherfucker out. I had to go all the way and I had to run the ball in the end zone. I had to knock a motherfucker out in the last eight seconds because the week ends today on Saturday, the day that I'm recording this. You'll be listening to it in the future, but the day I'm recording this, the week ends. And I'm not going to have a down week because you know what? I'm a cleaner. That's what I do. If you've never read the book by Tim Grover, uh, relentless, then you need to read that. But that's what I am is I'm a cleaner. I'm not just going to sit here and make excuses and complaints for the team not carrying the ball in the end zone. It's my job to do that work myself. And that's exactly what I did. I got in there. I carried the ball to the end zone and I pulled this out. And a matter of fact, I did it in three hours while the rest of my team dropped the ball consistently for four quarters. In the last two minutes of the game, the last two minutes that count the most, I scored $130,000 worth of points and made shit happen. So listen, this week, if you have a bad week, if you have a bad day, you don't ever stop. It game is not over. The week is not over until Saturday at 11:59 p.m. You do not let the clock affect you and you do not settle for a down week. You do not settle for a down day. Same thing goes in your family. See with my family, I got my wife left town this week. I got all three boys. I had 15 clients in town for flying Friday and then I've got all three boys for the weekend. I had a bunch of I had every excuse in the world to just accept a down week and not let things happen like they like they were meant to be. But I didn't. I nut up. I man up. I went out there. I handled business. You do the same this week. Hey, if you know somebody who needs to man up and handle their business, you can hear my kids yelling in the background now. If you know somebody who needs to man up and handle their business in the fourth quarter of this week, whether you're listening to this on a Monday, Tuesday, whatever, shoot this over to them. Send them a DM. Send them an email. Share it with your people on social media. Make sure you leave me a review on iTunes. And make sure if you want to surround yourself with people who do not give up and who are winning, go watch the free video over at BFA. That's short for Break Free. Academy, bfaentourage.com, and we'll catch you on the next episode.